Welcome to one of the most beautiful settings in college football. Husky Stadium sits on the banks of Lake Washington, nestled between the Cascades and the Olympic Mountains. Fans have arrived by land and sea. It doesn't get much better than this. And wow, do we have a fun one here ahead. A top 10 team walking into this snake pit of an environment just trying to get out alive. This will be fun as we'll see the number two team in the country, the Michigan Wolverines, taking on the 17th ranked team, the Washington Huskies. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreet. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. And the Wolverines will kick this deep to get us going. Fields it just outside the goal line. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. The Huskies offense will be the first up today. And here comes that star wide receiver. He's got the bounce, the aura. He walks in the field with some swag saying, I'm the man, and I know it. Oh, he certainly does, and you know what? He probably should. It's founded in all the hard work that he puts in, the dedication in the summertime during practice. You can see some of the defensive backs watch him as he warms up studying him because they know it's going to be a long day trying to deal with this receiver. A handoff from the shotgun. They'll bring him down right at the 30-yard line. Chris, I know it's the first play of the game, but boy, nice job on this offensive line. The back gets behind him, picks up some positive yards. Second down play coming up. Get set, get set. It's a shotgun run call. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Boy, this defense is stepping up here early in this game, really controlling the line of scrimmage. Just nowhere to go on this last play. And now we've got a third down, a big opportunity for this defense to get off the field. On this opening possession, they'll face a third down and five. Back to pass. It's Rodgers. Going for a big play downfield. Well, they go to the air to try to pick up this first down, but it just wasn't meant to be. Defense was ready, made sure to force them into this fourth down situation. They'll kick it away here. Running it back. It's Stewart. They finally get him back on, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. So Michigan's offense gets their first crack now. And here comes one of the elite running backs in all of college football. When he gets the ball in his hands, he just hold your breath, Don Kirk. He's been electrified. <laughs> he sure is. The embodiment of a superstar. The bona fide runner with ill intentions for the defense. This offense leans on him, and there aren't very many times that he doesn't come through for him. And he will be stuffed for no gain. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. Second down, we're going to throw it. The pass rush closing in. It's incomplete. That was caused by the defensive pressure. And now it brings up third down. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. The sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. The Wolverines will bring their punt team onto the field. Looking to flip the field here. Bringing you back, it's Jackson. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And the Huskies offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. There's the handoff. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Boy, this guy is running hard today, right? I mean, you think about some of the backs that Washington's had. This guy's trying to say, hey, fellas, let me be added to that list of guys like Greg Lewis. And nowhere to go here, and the ball is knocked loose. And the defense jumps on the football. Oh, and he's free down the left side. Can they run him down? Touchdown, Michigan. The defense adds six points. Oh, I 
it's your worst nightmare if you're a quarterback. They bring the blitz. He doesn't recognize it. Ball goes on the ground. Defense does a great job of picking this thing up. That's exactly what they hope for. Catch the quarterback off guard. It works out. It gets him a touchdown. Kicking team on now for the extra point. PAT is good, so it's 7 0. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. Washington offense heads back out on the field. The offense bracing here for a heavy blitz. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Stop after a small gain. Now look at it, second and nine. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, they don't block the defensive end. who shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be... There's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. Looks like the offense is able to recover it there. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks have got to do a better job of having awareness and taking care of the football. Felt like he got the ball away from his body there a little bit, allowing it to be knocked free. He caught a break because one of his own teammates was able to see that and get on top of the ball. And the Huskies will line up to punt it away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. Just able to get it away. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. Returner tackle right there. That's where they'll start the drive. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. I'm not sure the quarterback makes the right decision on this one. I think if he do it over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision. That one's incomplete. Oh, a reverse. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. That's an important first down on that running play. On the run, it's Edwards. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on only downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four more yards a pop like that. He hands it off from the gun. A quick shoot. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. You know, everybody always wants to talk about quarterbacks today and receivers, and don't get me wrong, that's a big part of the evolution of the game and where we are. But, man, for me, as a fan, when I'm watching a game, there's just something satisfying about the teams and the offenses that still have backs that can carry the ball and come up with plays like that. Move those sticks and keep this drive going. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. They'll switch it up here, looking to throw. He's moving out of the pocket. The sure hands. It's Edwards. He's tackled, but down at the nine-yard line. Defense getting pushed around. 
Made the catch, but he was surrounded for not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. The stop made at the five. The offense will have first and goal now. Hey, I don't blame the defense here at all, Chris, for bringing the blitz. It's third down and short. You got to get pressure on the quarterback, but you got to tip your cap to this quarterback. I think he was anticipating the blitz, so he's able to get the ball out of his hands quickly and pick up the first down. And that's a solid gain for the defense able to bring him down. So, Kirk, Michigan has the lead here at the end of the quarter. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. They've flipped ends of the field. We're ready now for the second period. They've had the break to talk about it. Now we begin the quarter with the offense set up second and goal. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. What a great play by the defense here. Getting close to the goal line. Not only do they come up with a big stop, but they send them backwards in the process. They'll run here on third and goal. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Wow, great stop here by this defense to bring us to fourth down and decision time for the head coach. You go the easy route with a field goal, or this close to the goal line, take a chance to try to get that touchdown. And the field goal unit coming on the field now. This one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. It's a squib kick picked up by one of the blockers. He's tackled at the 34 after a decent kick return there. And the Washington offense retakes the field here. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Just a small gain. Looking at second and nine. Man, that jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on the ball attacking you downhill. But when offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide and can create some vertical seams for big plays. Tackled at the 44, but good enough for a first down. The Huskies will come to the line to run the hurry up. Great conversion here for this Washington offense and another first down. And I tell you, this guy's living up to the expectations of a Washington quarterback. They've had some great play out of that position over the years. Offense getting set. Second down play here. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. He's taken down, but that's a nice game. They'll spot the ball now at the 35. About time this offense gets going. It's a first and ten. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you've got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Did well to avoid a loss there, but it's no gain on the play. They're backed up here trying to make something happen on third and long. back. They're going to throw for the first down. Oh, they 
they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. I can't believe the amount of pressure this defense is getting on this quarterback. Sack after sack. Boy, you got to think about changing things up. The snap count, the scheme, anything at all to help this offensive line. They're overmatched so far in this game. And the Huskies will have to kick it away. He's on to boot it away now. This will be fair caught way back at the five-yard line. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. And this crowd coming to life here trying to help the defense get a stop with the offense pinned back. Takes the handoff. It's Edwards. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. Of course they're going to pick up the first down by running the football. You think about Michigan, you think so many legacy, incredible backs that they've had over the years. Tim Biakabatuka and Tyrone Wheatley and Leroy Hoare. Man, so many good backs have come through Ann Arbor. Fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. To throw, it's Orgy. Fires it to the wide out. And he's got it. An effective play, good for a first down of the 35. A new set of downs after that completion. On first and 10, looking to throw. Fires it to the wide out. The defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. That's an athletic play by the defensive back. Playing tight coverage, seeing the ball, and not giving the receiver a chance to get their hands on it. Looking to pass here on second down. On the run, he'll let it go. Not enough on that one. It falls incomplete. That's a misfire there, Chris. This passing game has got to be able to get into sync and find a rhythm. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Throws it to the right. Oh, he misfires again, three in a row. Whoa, you're talking about a big hit there? I think this guy holds on to this football at a critical third down if this linebacker doesn't lower the blow. Great timing on that hit to prevent the P.I. call and to get this team to fourth down. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. And the Washington offense is back out on the field now. Not a whole lot of time remaining before halftime to cut into this lead. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Grab down the middle. It's Moore. Takes it out to the 44. That's good for a first down. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. One play moves the ball to the 44. It'll be first down. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Jackson. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Washington. Love to watch this quarterback go out and execute in this kind of situation. He's doing a great job of ignoring the scoreboard and feeling a sense of pressure to have to play with more urgency. Right now, he's executing. We're only in the second quarter. Plenty of time to get back in this game. He manages the footing, and the extra point is up and good. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Turn begins inside the 10. Tackle at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. They're trying to build on their lead. They were forced to punt on the last possession. Looking to throw it on first down. Going to try to use his legs here. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. You know, they tried to catch this defense napping on first and ten by taking a shot downfield. The defense does their job. They've got everybody covered. But I'm telling you, you better account for this quarterback because he can take off when things aren't there and use his legs, and he does that for the first down. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. They bring him down, but that is a huge play for this passing game. Big game. Boy, a huge play by this offense. A good throw, a nice, accurate throw. But I think it's the run after the catch that really impresses me. And early in this game, you got to think they're going to continue to go back to him until this defense shows that they can slow him down.
The Wolverines are in the red zone. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Quarterback moving out of the pocket, trying to create. He's hit right as he throws it. Incomplete. Mobility can be a blessing or a curse for some quarterbacks. Sometimes they feel that they can make a play on every single opportunity because they have such speed. Instead of just getting down or throwing it away, they try to force the issue. This one almost backfires on him as he tried to... He's got a lane. Can he make the end zone? And he'll make it in for the score. Touchdown, Wolverines. So the quarterback says, I'll do this myself. Kirk, he just takes off and flashes the speed in the touchdown run. My goodness, his creativity and speed makes it almost impossible to stop. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I start locking in on this quarterback's ability to run. Because if you don't, you're going to see a lot more plays like this. So they'll try to add to the lead now to the PAT. After the extra point, the lead is now 17-7. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff will see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. And so it'll be a touchback ball spotted at the 25. And the Huskies offense is back out on the field. Let's see what they do here in the final minute of the half. Try to get aggressive and cut into this lead or play it safe. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. And now the timeout is called by the defense. They've got some things to work out here. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. This pass rush has been a problem. Another sack sets up second and long. He's running out of time here. Again, he's just trapped and sacked in the pocket. Defense spends their second time out to try to regroup. If this team can hold on today and win, this pass rush deserves all the credit in the world. They have gotten after this quarterback so many times. Really, every time the opposing offense does something positive, it feels like a sack just stops any progress. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. And now a timeout quickly called by the defense as they try to get everybody on the same page here. The Huskies will have to punt this one away. They'll punt it from inside their own 10. On the return, it's Stewart. And the returner is brought down. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Trying to create outside the pocket now. In the clear at the 25. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. These are the kind of plays that keep defensive coordinators up at night. You spend so much time putting your plan together to stop the pass. And then, nobody accounts for the quarterback on a run. Let's it go as he's being hit. Incomplete, just three seconds left. Time for one more play. So just before halftime here, out comes the field goal unit. After making his first attempt, they'll try again from 41 yards out. And that is no good. The lead remains 10 after that miss. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Seattle for an interesting first half than you? And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. It's time to throw it back to our guys in the booth to start up the second half. All right, Kevin, thank you. We appreciate the breakdown. And the Huskies will kick this away to get the second half going. Fields it inside the five-yard line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. 
And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. First play of the second half was a handoff. And the ball to the ground. Offense with a crucial fumble recovery. Wow, that is big time awareness, Mike. Hold on a second. The replay official has signaled that he wants to have another look at this play. So after taking a closer look, the officials are going to overturn that previous ruling on the field. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? To throw, it's Orgy. Running back grabs it on a screen. Look at him run through those tacklers. And they're finally able to stop him, but great execution on the screen pass fooled the defense there. First and 10 play coming up. On the ground, it's Edwards. That one moves the ball across the 40. You know, a lot of people feel running backs with elite speed shy away from contact. But that wasn't the case there. Instead of running around the defender, this back elected to run right through him. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Fires it on the move. Oh, nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. Well, this is just an outstanding job by this defender being in phase against this receiver and being able to tip that ball away. He actually tips it up into the air. The offense catches a break, but that ball's not intercepted. Offense facing a third and short from the 41. Can they make the first down and avoid a tricky fourth down decision? Can he make it to the marker? Makes a nice move there. And he moves the ball across midfield and picks up a first down. How impressive have these guys been up front today? Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. Bringing pressure. Running out of time in the pocket. Scrambling. Now he'll make the throw. And it's picked off. Threw it across his body and paid the price. Gets some space around the 30. Not just the pick, but a big return. Sets up the offense in good position. Boy, this defense did exactly what they needed to do. Come up with a turnover here in the second half to get themselves back in the game. They get the interception. Now, can their offense come up with a way to cut into this lead? Brought down at the seven. The completion moves them closer to the goal line. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. Looks like Washington will have the first down. A good push up front here in this back. I tell you, he's got some outstanding vision to be able to find those creases, to be able to get positive yards, and here he gets the first down. Here we go, first and goal. A touchdown here gets him right back into this game. Here's the option play. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. Second and goal play. Spot the ball at the nine. Scanning the field. It's Rodgers. On the junior, gets home, making a sack there. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game and another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. Got it. 
The offense has been moving backwards here. Now a long way to go on third and goal. Offense looking to throw the ball. And the pass is incomplete just across the goal line. So the coach will decide to settle for three points here. Out comes the field goal unit. And the kick is good. Offense settles for three on the drive. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. Points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. They'll start with the 25. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. They had it going on the last drive, but it ended abruptly with the interception. Let's see what they can do here. And looking to throw now on first down. It's a short completion of the big tight end. A big hit by the linebacker, able to knock it down. That completion makes it second in medium. Ball handed off. Breaks loose at the 40. Tackle made after a big game. They trust the left side of that offensive line and come up with a huge play on the ground. Yeah, your favorite, Chris, there. The old pin and pull there to the left side. Great blocking on the left side, able to create a great push. Nice crease in the back, found that with the vision and picks up some big yards for that first down. So the ball placed right at midfield as the offense starts with a first and ten. Looking to pass, it's Orgy. He's escaping the pocket now. He lets it go on the move. Oh, he doesn't hang on. Looks like it was deflected before it got to him. It'll bring up second down. Using his legs, it's Edwards. Been a decent game there before the defense brings him down. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Out of the gun now on third down. Defense is coming after him. And it falls incomplete. The defensive pressure hurried to throw that time. Oh, my God. They almost came up with another interception. They had a pick on the last drive. They're doing such a good job of baiting this quarterback into throwing the ball into coverage and then making a play on the ball. Let's see if they can keep this going. The game picks up the first down, tackled at the 37. On a tight game like this, you're on the road. Why not take a chance? Go for it, you hit it, and you quiet the crowd in the process. And the Wolverines offense is on the move now. Ball handed off. And that run produces a decent game. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards. They're on first and ten. Here's the second down play. And as we take a break, take a quick look at how the national rankings stack up in the chase for this playoff position. We're set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? Offense getting set for a second down here to begin the quarter. Looking downfield, it's Orgy. And it's intercepted, a crushing play. Not a big return, but the pick ends the scoring threat. The offense will now take over at the third. What a play by the defense. Really, the only way they can get back into this game is to create a turnover. They get an interception, and they're in business.
And the Washington offense heads back out onto the field. They settled for a field goal last time. Let's see what they can come up with on this possession. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. And the junior able to get home with the sack. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game, and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. After a first down loss, it's second and long from the 23. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Makes the catch downfield. And the play is good enough for a first down to move the ball to the 34. The Huskies hustle to the line to run the hurry up. And the back gets the football. And they'll try to run inside, but nowhere to go. Chris, overall, it's been a tough day for this offense, but especially for this running back, just not able to find any kind of traction at all. And it's made this offense somewhat one-dimensional and a large reason they're trailing in the fourth quarter. To the air, it's Rodgers. Pressure is coming. Throws the ball away, but not before taking a hit. I mean, this defense is having their way with this offensive line. That poor quarterback doesn't have a chance. Every time he drops back to throw, he's getting ear hole. You better make some adjustments up front to give your poor quarterback a chance. And he'll drop back here on third down. Junior steps up and makes an impact play. Man, this pass rush has gotten home so many times. As an offense, I know you're down, but you kind of try to mix it up. Maybe roll the quarterback out. Have your backs and tight ends chip at the line. Anything they can do, because what they've done up to this point, it's just not working. And the Huskies will send the punt team onto the field. On the kick now for the fifth time today. And the return are brought down by the coverage team there. Wolverine's offense is back on the field. They have some good things going on the last drive, but it ended suddenly with the pick. Let's see what they can do here. Fresh set it out to the offense. First down. Hand off to the back. They'll keep the clock moving. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Chris, good job here on this stop, but remember the ball is inbounds and the clock keeps moving here late in the game and you're trailing. It's a defense. You gotta start thinking about utilizing those timeouts. You got all three to use. At what point are you gonna start putting those into play? Takes the handoff again. And they try the middle, but stuck for no game. Well, with the lead here, this is where you want to just take your time. The defense, as we know, they are looking to do anything they can to create an aggressive play to try to create a turnover. So you got to work that clock, but also protect the football. I'm sure the coach right now is preaching to all his guys and reminding them about ball security at this point in the game. One of the biggest plays we've had so far. Third down and the crowd really getting into it. Back to pass. It's Orgy. Running back has it on the screen now. They're finally able to stop him, but the defense is fooled a bit on that screen play. It's a solid game for a first down. Oh, that one really hurts for this defense. They get these guys to third down, a chance to maybe get them off the field. And they give up a first down late in the game. The clock will continue to roll. The Wolverines lining up here on first and ten. Looking for some space. It's Edwards. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Well, there's something we haven't seen much in this game at all. That ball carrier being tackled near the line of
line of scrimmage. Maybe if this defense can make more plays like that in the second half, their team will be able to chip away at this lead. On the handoff, they'll test the right side here. But the gain is just one yard. Sets up a third and nine now. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Oh, it's a reverse. He's not going to get the first down. It's fourth down now. Now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. The Wolverines will bring their punt team on the field now. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And the Washington offense retakes the field here. They came up empty in the last position, forced to punt it away. And they begin to click now. Offense out for the first play of the drive, beginning at the 22. First down, looking to throw the football. Catch made on the left side. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. But crank up the tempo here with the clock ticking down, second down. Scanning the field, it's Rodgers. The pocket breaking down. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. Now that's going to bring up a critical third down here as we're late into this football game and a drive where they need points. This quarterback's got to take control of this huddle, make sure everybody's on the same page. You have multiple plays that you could go to, whether it's a run or a pass, but you've got to come up with the first down. Well, hurry to the line here with the clock running. Looking to throw again. Grab down the middle. It's Jackson. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain in that play. The Huskies hustle to the line to crank up the tempo. And the offense wisely spikes the ball here to stop the clock. It's now third down. And it's a bunch formation. It's a heavy blitz look here. Let's see if they bring the house. They're going to throw for it on third and short. Receiver makes the grab. Tackle to the 28. This offense threatening now. Another first down. And the quarterback will just clock the football. First down. The attempt through the air is incomplete. It leads to second down. Second down after that previous play. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Well, they don't connect here, but this is what you have to do. It's late in the game. You need points. You're behind. You got to take some shots. I'd go right back to it, try to find a matchup, and go to one of your receivers that can make a play for you. The pass rush closing in. Just gets the pass away, but took a shot that time. Oh, Chris, the quarterback and receiver just not quite on the same page there on that third down and long. But at this point in the game, you got to consider going for this. They need a touchdown. So here we go. Down one score. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Crucial play here. They go to the air. And they've got him a sack to end the drive. What a play by this defense. That's really good coverage downfield, and it just looked like the quarterback was waiting and waiting and waiting a little bit too long. By the time he decides to try to make a throw, nothing is open, and the result is a sack and a turnover on downs. Well, Kirk, we thought it might be this kind of a game. Very small margin for error in this game. Who was going to make the crucial play at the end? And they did it to get the W. Yeah, Chris, when games get tight like we saw here, it really comes down to who's the better coach team, who's going to execute better, and just as importantly, not letting the moment get to your head. That's a nice win for this head coach and his team. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.